the Davis Senior site of our school, Opportunity Product Magazine, and Outbook. This seems to me a good representation of this Opportunity Product on the Internet. All the issues of Object Drive for all the years should be available in this new form. Easy to access. Uh, search engines. There is a necessary element to a modern site. This magazine, appreciated right, which again is a notebook. We have a school site which you all use. Magazine is another part of the school's operation. It's the intellectual foundation for backing of the Moscow School. And uh, it comes to us by way of texts. After listening to people orally, uh, we can have a look at the text and go deep into it. And of course, you deal with texts. Uh, and uh, it makes us new or different uh, perceptions. This should not be just a gathering of formal texts. That's the new internet life which uh, we go in parallel with the issues of the magazine. Design is quite respectful comparing uh, with the paper uh, original. everything what is there in the current issue there is a content and some of the texts are shown on the front page books there is uh, another issue of importance for this notebook it is also on the front page it will be renewed much more often than the issues uh, themselves. We will do our best uh, to bring in here new texts which are actually not there in the printed version. There is a subgroup which is called uh, Elected Items. And it brings about the, the form text published in the magazine. In this case, uh, this time they're speaking about Pierre Rosenvalo, 
a book that was recently published by the school. So we had a talk last time, and this is a book that is called Selected Notes for the magazine. Again, from the very start, this is what I like about it. What I like is it is very important to draw attention to modern art. And it's not about decorative pictures, and it's about an independent commonness in its own right to reality, which leads to much more than artists do. In our website, we posted art rubric as a rubric in its own right, and we shall support it. It will be something like a blog that will be posted online and will be very much like we go hand in hand with the illustrations that are usually accompany publications in modern magazines. And this, in our website, is we shall take some small comments and small notes, you know, precise, concise notes, which, as I think, will illustrate verbally the um, artistic illustrations, which, as I think, give comments, comment today's reality. This will be updated once or twice a week. And the most, the section that is updated more frequently than others is what we call a diary or a journal. This is a blog that we keep updating, oh, which so far as of today on the new website, I've made several, I've posted several records. As an example of what can be published online. This is an intellectual diary. News not so much of politics and economy, it's rather news from the world of ideas. The news from the perspective of what exactly is not a piece of news, it's actually news of our process as we seek to contemplate and deliberate on today, what we think about today. In general and overall, I think that before us, we, this is just the beginning and this is the first, the first version of our website where we together with you shall see how it works and we shall amend it, we shall make corrections, we shall make additions together with you. And besides, we shall also, as time goes by, we shall select, we shall select with Yuri Petrovich all the presentations, all the talks that you heard at the school or the at school seminars before this class. A while ago, these are s something that we're going to draw from our archives, which is, I think, it makes sense to post them on here online, and they will be uh, posted on page one, and then be sent to archive. This is what how it will work. In my view, it is just a kind of juncture, kind of our attempt to try to bring together the new and the old on the intellectual basis accumulated over many, many years since this Obshisitrat has been published. We try to, to put on top of it a contemporary interface by which we can update and discuss things that are going on. For me personally, I helped Yuri Petrovich in and just um, setting up this site and give some structure to it. I think it's an excellent experience because I can see how it, in some way, that we are just taking the first steps on a new path. This is the kind of work which 
it is an attempt to look at reality from a certain distance. It is an attempt to look in a very strict manner to our own thinking as we try to contemplate things that are going on. Not to just reject, not to dare to judge politics and economy as an immediate response. Instead, we should try to compare it with what the best intellectuals thought about events in the past and try to compare it with what we see in the today's world. Which, in my view, given today's reality, I think it's a very useful exercise. We are all immersed into the news lines which are crowded with news and this news is not always something that makes us happy. Sometimes it's very disturbing and keeps us nervous and tense. And sometimes we need, and it's very important for us to look back at how our predecessors handled similar situations in the past, which gives us hope that we shall that we, that we shall retain reason in today's world, in today's life. So what I suggest is suggest that you should all hit this website, share it with your friends in social media. We shall support relations and we shall stay in touch with you, your emails, and uh, as we will also post some publications online in social media. And I think as time goes out by, this site will turn into something that has a lot of substance and can add on to what is going on and what is the school is doing in its everyday activity. For me, this is an intellectual basis and possibility to look at things from a different perspective. To take one step higher to turn into a philosopher instead of being a political commentator. Anyway. Thank you. Thank you very much, Maxim. Well, Maxim, are you sure that you need to ask a question right now? When you said we'll only have one question, okay, I'll give you the floor. Is it about the website, Maxim? Okay, please, feel free. Well, I don't really have a question. It's to continue how you can use it. And we, for example, in Moscow, for you and the half, we've been discussing in informal atmosphere the book by Zygmunt Bauman, The Relevance of Holocaust. And here we came up with an initiative, and Yuri Petrovich supported it. So that as of September, all the interested stakeholders, we should start two formats of discussion of the book of Rosel Ballon that I suppose all of you have, so that we personally and in distant education, through video conferences as we use our website, so that we should start this work. And the school is all about helping you not only to, to get new ideas and knowledge and acquaintances, but also to generate initiatives. This is one of the results and outcomes of our work. And those who are keen to take part in it, please come up to me and we'll set up a group in Facebook. Well, good. As far as I understand, please stay close. It seems on the website of Wupshitz and Trans. I don't suppose you will have any provisions for the comments, and my suggestion to the moderators may be to keep track of them and on the Facebook because we belong to the same groups and do some summing up because that would be also a very useful experience. Yes, there are comments. Yes, you can, you can comment. Dear colleagues, what Maxim presented in my view, this is a very much advanced version of today's website and it's excellent in many ways. And you will get personally persuaded of this when we launch 
um, most relevant, up-to-date version. And for this reason, for that matter, we didn't plan large-scale discussion. We thought that is just a presentation, but what we shall welcome from you is once the new website is kicked off, then certainly all the ideas, all the suggestions, whatever it takes um, about this website, please feel free to contact the people who set it up and those colleagues who are supporting this website and it will be integrated into a new web page. Then the discussion will be more, more interesting, more relevant, as I said. And Maxim certainly, and to Ina too, I wish to thank them so much for all of us for the work they've done. I know that they've invested months for doing it. And this is the outcome that Maxim personally uh, sent him before. I suppose it's a modern product. It's very impressive, Maxim. Thank you very much. Well, you can visit this website. It's open and open access. Again, the display here is mm, it's not very nice, and you, you can barely see. I will just, just quickly we bump these rubrics so that you should know what it's all about. Well, homepage is clear. Here you are in homepage. This is where we have main rubrics. Uh, the current issue, this is actually, well, the most recent issue that was published. As you get this line, look, you see, like, highlighted issues and the contents into the right. I selected issues. This is something that highlights, highlighted probably issues. It's something that highlights and some materials from our previous publications and very many good ideas and very many good things that go back to the past. And they, although they may happen to us before, they are still very relevant. And as I reread old copies, I read many things that sound very much modern and up to date. So you will get a sort of fossil uh, issues, like a diary or journal. This is an updated blog, intellectual life and civic life books, clear. These are reviews, they will be updated once a week. But once again, this is a self-sufficient comment uh, that is usually provided by modern artists. And as to all the things that have already been posted online, I've tried to post it in this blog about modern art. Well, they're all about things which, as I said, are very relevant, not only relevant as what the artist said, but as much about phrases of the of the person who is thinking about this world, sometimes about politics, but I would much rather say it's about the world in its existential sense of the word, about how things stand today. What is it like to live in a modern world? And um, perspective from this or the other side. Archive all the available formatted, reformatted issues of the magazine that you can look up and the uh, search system is either by the author's name or by the name of the article. This is like the map of the site. It's a very modest project as I said, but on the other side it has a great capacity to develop potential for developing, because we will continue to develop it, and I very strongly hope that we shall see some intellectual exchange, and we shall see your comments, and your involvement, and your participation in this project further on. Thank you. Dear colleagues, what are we about to do now? You will be surprised, but we're not going to do anything now. I think that to start a discussion for 30 minutes, it, it's not feasible, it's not needed. What we need to do is uh, we'll have a discussion tonight. 
I suppose you will enjoy another 30 minutes for a good break, to get ready for lunch, to take a shower, to breathe in this hot air, and to come back to your senses. Lunch will be served at half past one. This is when they serve food, because they also have, you know, so half an hour that you will enjoy. And we are back after lunch at a session by Lemuel Alexeva that starts at half past two. Thank you. Felix, another quick announcement is again, it makes sense to not. We shall have make, take a collective picture of the group that will never reconvene together. As well, today you will be invited outdoors to take a picture. Please bear in mind, it will later be posted by the 